In the heart of equatorial Africa, the Sangha mythical tree national complex spreads over more than 4.4 million hectares. No doubt, the scenery features a paradise. The Sangha Tree National Complex is a mega park settling on three countries. Lubeke National Park in Cameroon, Zanga Sangha Protected Areas in Central African Republic, Nwabale Ndoki National Park in Congo. The Sangha Tree National Area hosts about 191,000 inhabitants, the majority being the Bantu people, followed by the Baka varieties, all of them still deeply convinced of their cultural system values. The environment is extremely rich in animal and plant species. Recent inventories show that the Sangha River hosts 200 types of fish. The vegetation comprises 140 different species. Apart from trees, four stall items are used in feeding and healing. In the animal reign, the bird species are of 352 varieties. As a specific item, let's mention the royal eagle, the grey and red-tailed parrot. More than 51 different mammals live on the site. Elephants, mountain buffaloes, wild pigs and other primates. Thanks to the access facilities, the complex is a warm, welcoming area. Thanks to the world's status of UNESCO property, the security is unquestionable. Assisted by well-trained guides, visitors move safely in the Sangha Tree National Complex. Surrounding wide clearings or by, as named in the local tongue, you can observe animals close up. <laughs> In their living area, the Primate Habituation Program, PHP, is capital. The process of habituation is that we start by following traces of a gorilla group and then we continue to follow those traces until we make contact with the group. We try to make several contacts a day, one, two maximum, and once we're able to do this regularly without the gorillas running away, then we try to follow them daily and all day long, and then we slowly try to get closer to them until we reach a level of full habituation. That can take five to ten years. Moreover, you can enjoy high quality hosting and attendance services. <laughs> Here, the scenery makes the site unreal, quite unbelievable. No false corruption on behalf of civilization. Let's breathe fresh air. Cascades. A good place to come, rest and recover. Catch sound and healthy sleep in good wooden bungalows. In the comfort of nature and a touch of civilization, we can enjoy the breezy river air. Top ranking visitors from all over the world have been here. Prince Philip of Edinburgh, a German Minister of Cooperation, the Prince of Qatari, Chinese reporters. Hello, my name is Roscoe. I'm from China. I'm uh, shooting a documentary with CCTV here. Uh, this, this, this is the third time I'm in Africa. And uh, this is the best uh, national park uh, in the world, I think. The most beautiful place on earth. Looking for Eden? Then come and experience the Sangha Tree National Complex. We are calling people to please come and visit us. And that includes people who are perhaps 
uh, interested in other parts, such as logging, such as mining, such as development, because we want you to see what we have here and how important it is that we conserve it. It is one of the last places, and we have a very strong dynamic that works between the people, the animals, and the forest system. And if we break that dynamic down by, um, for example, by overlogging, by overhunting, or by mining, we will lose not only the animals, but we will also lose the people. FTNS, supporting cooperation in the Tree National Sangha Complex for conservation and people's prosperity.